Many warn that Christian nationalism is on the rise all across the country and here in North Texas. Dallas Morning News' Joy Ashford spoke with a new local organizer for the group Christians Against Christian Nationalism to better understand this ideology and how her group is fighting against all of this. Joy, first off, thank you for joining us. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. It's great to be here. Glad to have you again. A first question here, how do experts define Christian nationalism? So the best way to define Christian nationalism is to define what it's against. Christian nationalism is against the separation of church and state. Christian nationalists don't want the government to stay out of religion. In fact, they think that the government needs religion and specifically it needs Christian values in order to function. So Christian nationalists are okay with Christianity getting special treatment from the government. In fact, they would say that that's how our government is meant to function. Um, and so they um, believe that um, Christian, the America is a Christian nation and that that's what our founders wanted it to be. But a lot of scholars would argue instead that um, our founders were fleeing religious persecution and that they wanted America to be founded on religious liberty for Christians and for everyone else um, and not on Christianity itself. Okay, so, so we know that uh, Christian nationalism, uh, Joy, is, um, is happening. Uh, how do we know that it's increasing? So in my reporting, I cited a major 2023 survey from the Public Religion Research Institute, uh -huh. um, which asked people questions about how much they agreed with a variety of different beliefs that are associated with Christian nationalism. And so what that survey found is that 40% of people at least mostly agreed that the U.S. law should be based on Christian values. 30% at least mostly agreed that being Christian is an important part of being truly American. And 27% at least mostly agreed that the U.S. government should declare America a Christian nation. These beliefs all conflict with the idea that church and state should be kept separate and that people of all religious identities, Christians and non-Christians, are full American citizens. Okay, uh, let's talk for a moment here, Joy, about the organization uh, Christians Against Christian Nationalism. Uh, we talked more about the organization a moment ago, but well, what are they doing to address the issues here? So I reported on how Christians Against Christian Nationalism, which is a national group, just chose to hire their first field organizer based in North Texas. Um, and so I talked with her, her name's Lisa Jacob, um, about how right now she's focused on advocating against the implementation of a new law that would allow schools to use money earmarked for public safety to hire school chaplains, including chaplains that don't have any licensing to perform counseling for students. Um, so school districts are now individually voting on whether to implement this in their schools and to hire school chaplains. Um, and the deadline for school districts to vote on this is March 1st. So Lisa's group is concerned that chaplains teaching a particular religious viewpoint uh, shouldn't be paid by taxpayers to provide counseling to students in public schools. So recently she's been working on compiling information for North Texans on when their school districts are voting on this um, and on what this new policy might mean for them and what the implications are for them and for their students. Okay, yeah, Lisa has a powerful story there. Uh, Faith reporter Joy Ashford. Uh, Joy, thank you so much for your insight on this. We appreciate it. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to have you once again. You can read more of Joy's work right now. Just head to DallasNews.com.